It's time for your favorite podcast, The Musician's Talk Show. Here's your hosts, Dallas Dwight and Matt Tolley. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Musicians Talk Show podcast. This is episode number 75. I'm one of your two co-hosts, Dallas DeWight. And I'm Matt Tolley. What's up, everybody? How's it doing? Hey, how's it doing? How's it doing? Good way to ask that question. We um we Got have some, some very today. special guests with us today. Yeah. My band, the LA Maybe. So we have uh, the new guy. What's up? Introduce I'm the new yourself. Guy. I'm Daryl Silvera. <laughs> the new guy. I'm uh, the rhythm guitarist. And very nice. That's what I do. Very nice. You're fired, Rasan. Uh, you Rasan's back. Rasan's been here before. <laughs> yeah, too many times now. And over here in this corner, Ryan Fosno. Uh, oh, right. Yeah. Also known as Foz if we slip in. Foz, yeah. Foz. Foz, that's who we're talking about. The chair of all time over here. Foz. Playing the drums. All right, yeah. so we're kind of cramped in here, but we're uh, we're hanging out. What are you and, talking about? Um, this I'm is so cozy at this point. We're gonna have a good time. I wanted to have Sold out. I wanted to have my band on for a while, but. Um, we just didn't get around to it, and now we have a reason to be here. Yeah, so exactly. Friday, she's reckless came out everywhere. Burr, burr, yeah. burr, 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 burr. Everybody, so go any, check it out. Any applause at all? This sucks. My hands full. I got. <laughs> how am I supposed to do this? Let go of her son and let go of my no uh, I want private to. areas. That's the problem. <laughs> my mother's listening. She's not though. Uh, no, she's not. <laughs> well, we'll edit that out for. Her. No, Sorry, not. Mrs. Rasan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a pretty crazy weekend uh matt let's do your stuff first because you had a crazy weekend too and i uh yeah. on behalf of everybody i say happy birthday to you oh thank you oh, brother what, 20 birthday. Uh, 21 that's right nice started for the ninth my time. first drink last night how was too. your first legal drink it was great dude i mean was how was your first, first drink, drink ever yeah first ever drink would you have did you have a white claw <laughs> um no i'm i would turn 30 actually you, you turned 30 yeah dude so did you have a white claw hills some guy i'm gonna have to get your replacement soon before you die level he said and i'm like yeah i guess you could look at this a third level if every 10 years is a level, this would well, be the third level. That is how that would be ordered, like every year's so a level. A word so for level me. 30. You know, there's a word for it. Your decade. You outlevel me by a minute. By a minute. Yeah. <laughs> what what kind of uh, are we going by here? Minutes, <laughs> levels? Yeah. So, like, we got all kinds of I'm level 200,000. <laughs> uh, anyway, so tell be, us about this gig. How how'd it, it go? It was good. It was good, man. Uh, lots of my friends came out. It was a lot of fun. We partied hard. I uh, throttled back, tried not to drink too much before we went on at 11.30. Oh, yeah, you had a show. It was one of the hardest things. So who was, was, uh, what was the bill? Is it the milestone? It was at the milestone. Um, We had uh, Something Went Wrong. These are all like local bands. I think two from uh, Asheville and and the uh, opener for us was from Charlotte 2, Vortex of Old Men. So Something Went Wrong, um, Mind Shape Fist, Vortex of Old Men, and then we went on. It was good, man. It was a lot of fun. All I, the bands I stand meshed. by what I said last time. We need to have some sort of like band name meeting where yes. we get all these people I know. to have better band I know. names. I know. Uh, <laughs> Wait, one of them was called Mind Shaped Fist? One like word, Mind, mind Shaped Fist. With not, a D? not with a mind, D. Not mind with a, mind, mind like Shaped shape, Fist. Not with a D. The shape See, if we have to have this conversation, it's, it's not a bad name. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sounds like someone's exactly. fisting someone's brain. It's, yeah. hard. it's unique, I guess, but I mean, it's very like hard to... Yeah. And it, when Sometimes when people confuse unique with good. There are no spaces, so it's hard to kind to get all those oh, words geez. together and remember oh, it. but anyways so yeah they but all the music sounded amazing all the bands were actually really good and they met and melded together well mm-hmm. and um we were on our game on the lights and stuff at the end we really let them have it it was a good time man and you guys headlined right we headlined so yeah we were allowed to do whatever we want instead of you know i never really thought about that being throttled like when you're the opener if you're not going to get the lights you don't get all the things you like it's not going to happen because they're trying to make it seem like the headliner, you know, is the best band there, and that's the way it goes. And even if it's not the case, that's mm-hmm. the way it has to be. Right. And it builds in, in intensity as right. the night goes. So when we went there and played the Milestone three weeks ago, we were the opener, you know what I mean? Like, we didn't have any lights, so we just had one color and uh, no help on sound, really. Like, I didn't just, just didn't help us out. When we were the headliner this last time, it was a different experience, so that was cool. Hmm. You guys are going to be the Milestone House Band pretty soon. <laughs> yeah. Every Thursday same, night. Uh, yes, the same crew? Was was Dane running sound for you guys? Dane or? was not running this time. It was a different guy huh. I met. Um, I wanted, What was his name? Uh, was it Dane Cook? Ian? No, it wasn't was Ian. It, oh God, Is Dane Cook running sound at the Milestone? No. It was Rasan's mom. Running, it was Dane ran mom. sound the first time we played. <laughs> yeah. And oh, that's was, weird. And it was a different guy that ran uh, sound Dane will, will usually kind of roll the red carpet out for you. He's He's usually pretty good with that, but whatever. I, I mean, we had this, we talked all about this that yeah. one time. Like yeah. I've never had good experiences at those kind of places. Yeah. And Ever. I wanted to bring our own sound girl. Like Paige was actually available that night and she showed up, you know, and kind of partially for my birthday and everything. So she, we were, you know, 
she was having a good time, but she said she would uh, run sound for us, but I didn't want to push it because, you know, the sound issue, the sound guy thing, I didn't ask ahead of time. I really should have, you know, done that beforehand. So I didn't yeah. even bother with it. Yeah. And she showed up. Yeah, she showed up. We had a good time. It was fun. <laughs> Wait, her sister wasn't getting married? No, no. She Damn. got all those out. For Everybody's married time? now. She had a They're sisters? all married now, I think. All no. 18 sisters? <laughs> Dude, they're all married. <laughs> we had, uh, we had a... We had a... She's still single, yeah. though, right? Yeah, she's... <laughs> <laughs> Not sure. So Pretty Paige. soon she just goes, oh, I'm getting married. <laughs> it's like, I follow you on Instagram. I know you're not. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> I see you're at like Lollapalooza or whatever. The f- <laughs> you're live the right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're here with me now. Like, <laughs> For once. So uh, we played Mad Life Stage yeah. and Studios in Georgia. That's a real that venue game. Four and a half hours. Driving plus six yeah, minutes. Not the Wait, game. both ways. So we spent nine hours in the car. So was, <laughs> that day was it like south of Atlanta? Because I didn't even catch no, that we north, passed through it north, was north. A bit. We didn't. So like to get to Atlanta, we come down from the top, and then and right. then you end up kind of coming in from the east, I right. guess. That's but what a, we did is instead of going into Atlanta, we kind of went around it up uh, over the top, right, and yeah. then we kind of turned away from it and went up a little bit, and then that's where Woodstock is. Huh. But I thought I thought we were going to very much feel like okay, we have we've left the city, like we're we're out now, you know, we we're on our way, but I never felt that I like the city just kept going, dude. Yeah. Atlanta just doesn't really stop. Yeah. It's pretty much there's Georgia. Do you guys drive by the fireworks on the way? Yes. Yeah. Wasn't yeah, that awesome? Yeah. So what was that? Sun trust? Like that's arena? the, that's where the we, brave we, said yeah, it was we, the brave stadium. Is it? Yeah. I my think. stepdad confirmed it yesterday. Oh, it is. It is. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, okay. So that was definitely a baseball. Yeah. Game. yeah I did see the, I was, I, saw one, I was wondering what sports season it is. So baseball, the, baseball dude, is not when, a if you don't game. know it's baseball. Not a <laughs> pretty much. Wait, I'm pretty sure every sports, sports done. No nope, baseball. If you're going in on. America <laughs> and it's summer, you can probably default to baseball. Oh, that's dude. the only thing that's left. They basketball call it the dog ends, days of summer, right? Hockey ends in the summer. Like football is like non-existent in the summer. So it's like kind of baseball and then tennis. Yeah. And golf. I don't even know. Like the only sport I really care about at all is football, and I barely follow that. Yeah. So I'm just like not not the sports guy, but I'm more sports than anyone here, which is funny. But I'm not the sports guy. Yeah. I live with the sports guy. Ashton's the sports guy. Does he? He knows everything. Is, is he up to date on the um on the sports stuff? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that what is that what makes him a sports? That was guy? implicit in what I said. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle's definitely the sports guy in my life. Is he really? Oh yeah, definitely. Wait, does he like football? All kinds of. Who's sports. his team? Uh, his bears for sure. Chicago. Oh, really? Yeah. Hard from Chicago. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah hardcore Chicago. One. And uh, I can't believe you don't like the Bears the, or anything. The Chiefs, right? Is that if the I, hockey team? If I watch Chiefs. football, I guess I'm a Bears fan. Yeah. Ryan, can you say the Bears? <laughs> the Bears. <laughs> the Bears. Wait. Say Foss the is from Chicago. The Bears. There you go. <laughs> the way you have to That's say the it. correct pronunciation. One of my and my high school English Bulls. teacher was from Chicago, <laughs> and he would he would literally fly home every weekend for the Bears games. My, How much did he teachers. make? Yeah, as a teacher, I don't know. He also was, he was also was almost on SNL. He was like did the whole Second City thing. Oh wow! So he's a cool guy. He's really him. awesome. Yeah. Mister Brown, don't shout out name. to Mister Brown. <laughs> what All if he's like? What if he's like Mr. a hardcore Browns. listener? <laughs> yeah, it's possible. I guess. What the odds of that be? I, I also had a really cool English teacher that was like a piano phenom, and we would just always like hang out after class, talk about music. He loved like James Taylor. It's like, but he was phenomenal at piano. I had an English teacher, Asian dude, um, Mr. Peyton. I had an English teacher at Berkeley. Nice. That was that's kind of it. <laughs> she was from England. People, we know you went to Berkeley, yeah, Rasan. Yeah, but people don't that's understand that, that you still have to take uh, general education. Rasan starts Berkeley. every sentence as uh, when I was at Berkeley. I <laughs> he gets paid. He gets paid a hundred dollars every time he mentions Berkeley on yeah, the show. Please, yeah, please. No, I have to pay Berkeley a hundred dollars every yeah. time. I mention oh shit! We well, better cool down. How much money you got? If bro? You forget about it. or you have to say <laughs> Berkeley TM and then like all the copyright. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get, Copyright a, 2019. I'll get a knock at my door at, at 3 a.m. They'll yeah. take me away. Roger Brown will they love their money. put me in a sack. I'm going to sit down here and snuggle with your Marshall. Snuggle oh. with oh, snuggle with Madison, too. Hey, Madison. I'm I Madison forgot you were can, here. Uh, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm Madison is the pup, the doggo. So anyway, Mad Life uh, happened, came yeah, and, so, and went. Uh, yeah. So the, we, we went to Georgia uh, for the first time ever. First out of town gig. First out of state gig we played out of, say out of state we played out of we live, like on the, we live on the border so we played north carolina and south carolina that's true well we call it the carolinas around here do we nope. <laughs> north carolina <laughs> life. we don't <laughs> call that at all that's yeah. what everyone else calls it that was a joke <laughs> uh but yeah it was like super cool they kind of they kind of did it up for us the venue was really nice it was way nicer than i thought i've never walked in a concert venue and smelled like like as soon as you breathe in you're like oh this place smells really clean and new and everything's like polished and wiped and like 
Yep. Everything was put away. Like it was one of the nicest places I've been in. The exact, yeah. it does, it does the exact opposite of the milestone. Yeah. It smells like the stickers restaurant. everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I they kind of had to keep it clean because <laughs> yeah. they serve yeah. food. Restaurants are best clean. But when we walked in the back, the back door of the load in dock, it smelled like, like a new house. Like, you know, when you build a new house and it has that new house smell, it smelled like that to me. I don't have a sense of smell. That's so probably like a bigger issue. Yeah. That yeah. adds to the list of <laughs> random things that you keep on just bringing up. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that'll be a later podcast. Cool, so we can yeah, we'll podcast later on the on that the uh, the smells podcast. One of the first things that happened when we got there is the sound guy comes up, stomps up angrily to me, Ooh. and goes, "Hey!" And I go, "What's up?" And he goes, "Did you call me?" Just like that, like yeah. like my fucking dad or something. And I was like, "No." <laughs> like if you're gonna, if you're if you're gonna start taking that tone with me, I'm about to get fired up, dude. So I go, "No." Should I have? And he goes, yeah, you didn't tell me you were bringing your own engineer. I said, cause we're not, I sent you the tech writer. And he was like, yeah, I got that. I was like, then you have everything you need. And he was like, well, what? And he's like, look confused. I was like, he's just, he's just Daryl is who he was referring to. He's, he's, he's here. As like, he's here to like help us out. Be the road manager guy. Cause we, you joined a little too late to actually play that gig. Otherwise you would have played that gig with us. Yep. And, um, and he immediately just like a switch cooled down. He was like, Oh, okay, cool. And he walked away. I was yep. like, dude, like yeah, he was on his <laughs> further furthering my theory that sound guys are the worst. Yeah. They're just the worst. Hey, hey like, now hey. he ended up being a really nice guy and a Watch cool guy to work it. with. But <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're the worst. But, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you, blame everything on the sound. Guy. You, you do a good Donald duck. So, so like we can kind of forgive you. All right. All right. Do it. Do it. Oh boy. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Say, uh, say, fuck you, Rasan. Fuck you, Rasan. <laughs> the S's are really good. It's like the spit. Like, oh, yeah, I don't yeah, know how yeah. to do it, but that's crazy. <laughs> gonna have to clean that microphone out. There we go. That's his mic. So yeah, I can, trash, I can right? oh, spit into then. my mic as much as I want. I'm not Actually, on mic mics. How, uh, how I was did a sound you... guy for eight years, so, you know, <laughs> a decent one. I'm sure you were cool, uh, but a lot of times I meet sound guys and they're just like, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> they're just like, ugh. You know what I mean? The worst. Yeah, pain he, uh, in the butt to work with. I, I know exactly. He was pretty cooperative for the rest of the night, though. I think he like, was. He was. Yeah, it was he good. just saw somebody unfamiliar plugging in cables. Like, like that's not something that is, first of all, pretty unspecialized. Because which is very strange because if you work in a in a place of that caliber, which is the the mid level pro caliber, I would right. say, right? Yeah, the pro am tour, I guess you could say. Uh huh. Like it's not like <laughs> okay. It's not like you know like novice stuff but it's also not like you know pnc pavilion or whatever no but you would expect people to show up with a crew and the crew to know what they're doing you know yeah but at the same time they only have like mid-level tributes there too so yeah. maybe they're they're just not used to to that i'm sure they get all kinds of stuff people know what they're doing people don't know what they're doing people are good people are bad you know yeah so. And it's it's right outside of Atlanta too. It's not like the the big city venue mm -hmm. like yet. So I mean, who knows? It's not like it, like if we rolled up to the Fox Theater, yeah, like with an extra guy, they wouldn't have batted an eye. Daryl probably wouldn't have had anything to do because we would have had a. F they didn't even. Crew. They didn't care about the extra guy. He cared that it was an engineer that he felt he was gonna not like you know right. get to run the board or whatever. Yeah, because like as soon as he realized that wasn't the case, he he was like, oh okay, all good. And he yeah. walked away. I maybe like, he just okay. really needed something to do that yeah. night. He maybe him and him and his wife were like fighting, so he was really afraid he was going to have to go home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't go home, dude. I, <laughs> I can't go. go home. I just can't. I can't. She's crazy. Uh, she threw plates at me last night. Please let me have yeah. this. Please let me have this, Daryl. They called Charlotte. The, I, I would uh, believe that. They called Charlotte the land of tribute bands. Yeah, I heard I thought, the dude say that. that was, really? I thought that was super funny. Yeah, uh, it. It's yeah, that's painful. That's kind of. <laughs> I mean, it's like, I hey, we're, or, we're from the place or, of no originality. Or is it that us Charlotte dudes are just smarter than everybody else? Me? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. If we're it's smarter, we get... move to LA and make something of ourselves. Yeah, yeah that's true. Charlotte's but we need, big but we need money. <laughs> it's, I don't want to work. It's hard to get paid to play songs that nobody's heard before. You know so. what's really funny that I've noticed? When we play our originals... Just because we play so many covers, I see people like loving it, dancing, having a good time. This right. is particularly Mad Life. I noticed this, and I've seen yeah. it a few times before. And then we play an original, and I see them desperately wanting to know the words. Oh, they yeah, desperately yeah. want to sing along. They're like, "I like this, but I don't know how to participate." No, no, no. <laughs> what's, what's so cool though is that like people will like learn the words. And yeah. I saw people like at the end of Peace of Mind, they were like singing, kind of getting it. Yeah, it. like it, they were getting into it. Yeah, but My I could favorite... see a couple ladies in particular were like 
really wanting to like sing a lot, but they just didn't know the words because they've never heard the song. There was a guy, my favorite thing to do is to see what I can do to get somebody. There's always that guy that's just like really unimpressed. And for Mm -hmm. some reason they're out in the front too. There's a a person in the back who's like folding their arms. That's me. You know, you can tell they're they're just the musician, you know, they're there to kind of just vibe out and and just kind of enjoy the show. You're not going to reach them because they're, they're, they're just there to chill. Mm -hmm. But the guys who are, who are really needing to bust out of that, and so I like watching the, there was this guy, the guy who's like wife shirt. brought him. Did you, no, no, no. It was two guys. There was a guy in, his, in, a, in like a green shirt that was particularly like unimpressed. Just had this frown on his face the whole mm-hmm. time. It's like, so why'd I you buy a ticket? On. We sold tickets. Like. Well, no. But <laughs> then I started seeing him slowly unfold his arms yeah. and then I saw him crack a smile. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. by the end he was like, you see that beer glass head. get emptier and emptier and emptier. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if he was drinking or not, but I was watching him like just kind of gauging his body language. It was, it was interesting. It was maybe a cool, like it wasn't, maybe he should have been. Yeah. yeah. He would have, he would have had a much better time. <laughs> maybe he, uh, just couldn't go home that night or something. Again, all these guys can't go home. To their wives. <laughs> Bunch of angry wives in uh, Woodstock, Georgia. So the drive wasn't actually as, as bad as I thought it was. It was longer than I thought it would be, but it didn't. It kind of went by decently fast. Yeah, it did. Especially when you're able to lay out in the back. of the Yeah, you kind of you kind of nap for the last little hour there, huh? Yeah, well, I also had an hour it's to drive. It's kind of slow when you're too. dealing with Google's tech support. Yeah. What a, <laughs> oh, yeah. Goodness. Daryl Daryl was going to buy... Google Play Music streaming, and yeah. so I, I bought like, it, and then I go to try to like use it, and it doesn't work. Yeah, and it didn't work the next day, and From, it took me like hours. Wait, is it working to, now? No, oh. I got my money back. Oh, good. It wasn't oh, working. good. Good. Yeah, and but that, like that. That alone was like trying to pull teeth out of a bobcat for like forty <laughs> for like forty five minutes. Like I that. feel Daryl just like seething next to me. Like he's really quiet, but I can tell he's just like fucking fuck. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And even Every so often he'll just be like, fuck Google. <laughs> and to make it even worse too, we're just having a good time, like talking nerdy about uh dream theater, which is yeah. just like the whole two, drive back. We were just like things we were that frustrated Daryl <laughs> into music. Um, yeah, we've been trying to bring him since we brought him into the band into the 21st century as well. Yep. So we um, got him on Facebook everybody messenger. who's listening. He's got messenger, still no Facebook, still no Instagram. Yep. No, Instagram. no Instagram and no, no TikTok either. No, well, definitely no TikTok. None of us are allowed on TikTok. That's just, <laughs> no, that's I, just think a I, I think I'm over you the age threshold for TikTok. <laughs> I, yeah. You might be a TikTok. Yeah. If, yeah. I love Any, that. Anyone 18 or older that's on TikTok. And I'm just, not like down I, for lip syncing. So yeah, I really, I'm just, know. it stresses yeah, me out. See about about TikTokers are the real coolest. <laughs> Everybody knows that's where you find cool people. You and I are the only one that listened to your mom's house. So you're, we're the only one in They find the best TikToks and they, they, uh, what would you say? Showcase them? They use TikTok as uh, like a synonym for the word retarded. Oh, God. <laughs> so they'll be like, dude, this guy's TikTok. Like, check this guy. Because they find so many people on TikTok that are just like, what am I watching right universe. Now, They're in their own universe. Yeah. This, one, them, this one guy just simply tells you what he's eating. He's like, I have a burger in a really I have weird a way. banana and I am going to eat my food. And you're just like, what? what? And he goes, uh, okay, bye. And then he gets off. Yeah, then, okay, bye. Yeah. No, like, okay, <laughs> excellent. Well, now so I know funny. that I can, I could probably make it on that platform then. Yeah. You're just, oh, yeah, you're, just TikTok, you're, you're made for TikTok. I, I am. So you know what? I'm going to prove you uh, <laughs> wrong. Correct. I can't wait this to see is my new, following. I'm going to pivot so hard and do like makeup tutorials on TikTok. <laughs> you don't I'm need makeup to sign you're beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm beautiful and I'm going to accentuate my beauty with new makeup. Go so guys, power. I'm going to quit the band. Go girl. And makeup I'm going to go by, uh, yeah, glitter beards. Glitter beards. <laughs> I, I mean, love that's it. a band name I that I really it. want. I can see it. Let's that's write not... a song called Glitter Beards. That's a band name that I really want right now. The Glitter Beards or the Glitter Beards. So, see, if I didn't make my hard uh, career pivot. Then... If you weren't so TikTok, we never would have had that. Exactly. Yeah. So, I'm rejoining the band. Okay. Guys. Welcome back. Hey, what's up, dude? Yeah. You know? I'm now this... no longer the newest member. <laughs> <laughs> Time for me to get back on Instagram. I'm graduating kind of from fifth wheel to fourth wheel. Oh, well, we brought you along because we we don't like the fifth wheel feeling. So we were like, because we do the variety band, which is the four piece. Yeah. But Daryl's such a skilled engineer that we we convinced him to do front of house for us. Yeah. So now at least the five of us can be a group and go around and do things as it a group. It is awesome. It's we held him down, um, put a wax candle over his uh, over his. Uh, we belly. had to fight him a lot. Yep. Yeah, and then said, "You're going to be our engineer," mm-hmm. and he said. Uh, more daddy. I mean, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so we, uh, we stopped. Thought, and that's, that's what I thought uncle meant. And then I found out it was uncle. 
Daryl, I think I think I think no, there's someone that else you should uncle. talk That's to about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, different. I had an interesting childhood. Yeah, we're not qualified to talk about I'm it. From California. Any um <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You told me all about that. Yeah. What about um what other uh like observations or discussions do we have about the mad life gig? I uh I loved the lighting and the, the the overall production setup was just insane. Yeah. Like I wasn't aware of it. Daryl was was uh, taking videos from out in the front because he had no, literally nothing else to do. Yeah, thank you. Um, you captured some good stuff, and it, it yeah, looked yeah. like some of the best shows that I've ever seen. Except I was able to watch myself on that stage. Mm-hmm. One thing I'll say about their lighting guy, great. I got to bring this up because um, you know he obviously had heard a lot of the covers and kind of knew generally what to do. But when it came to playing original stuff, he'd never heard. It was like he was. He already knew what was going on with the music. He nailed the, all the hits in the yeah. intro of She's Reckless. Like the dun, the, the dun, lighting like there, they all like, like, like the what? sound was awesome. You'd expect that from a venue there, but the lighting was like what actually really blew me away. Yeah. So. It, and it I don't know if you guys seamlessly. could see, did you, we, I didn't actually step inside the actual studio they have. So what separates this venue apart from other studios is they have an in-house recording studio and an in-house video production facility. Yeah. So what they do is they, professionally film like multi-cam angle, like tons of different angles, like you would like a news broadcast where you're switching between them and professionally multi-track every show they have. So where I was on the stage, I could look over in the window and see one of their monitors and I yeah. could see us I, on stage I and I could see them cutting between the shots and showing Goliath and a close up of me and like close up of Foz and all this stuff. And I was just like, that looks awesome. It was like, like video looks pro, great. Like Blu-ray quality. It was insane. Yeah. So I, I got I thought, to go in that studio while they were doing sound check. And yeah. it is like, I think they have, I didn't count all the cameras, but it's something like five cameras that are, you know, I had one right by me. I know Um, they have audience response mics in there and and they they just really capture the the live essence really, really well. Yeah. So if you the cool thing about it, too, is that you can either. So they offer a guarantee, but you can also uh, you have an option to buy out the video as a way to Mm -hmm. cover the cost of production. So you basically play for free. You get that pro shot video and mm-hmm. you're, you're good to go. Right. That's, that's about how yep, it works. That's right? pretty much how it works. And that's how, um, that's how we plan on shooting our GNR video. Yeah. That's that, why we is went that there for out of the bag as far as, as yep, I've bad announced bad it on this podcast. Yep. Huh? I've announced it on this show. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, so just coming back mad bed. life. We're coming, we're coming back. <laughs> coming back <laughs> early show and late show. I wish this was a, we're a not video. bringing an engineer. I, I wish this was a video program because uh, Foz is, is like seriously laid out on this, uh, this recliner right now. Recliner couch. That's yes. usually where Matt and I sit, but we decided to let our esteemed colleagues and guests. Actually, they just oh. got there first. Yeah. <laughs> and no one got here before me. <laughs> I would have definitely been in one of those chairs. Yeah. But that's okay. But this Marshall's you know. really comfortable over here. <laughs> Matt's just sitting on the floor, like leaning Madison up against the Marshall. The Marshall. Well, I got all my M's. Puppy. Madison, Matt, and the Marshall are over here in we the got corner. Here at Triple one. M's. We got here at one like you wanted. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that, that was the best sounding time to us, so. Yeah. Matt said he'd be here at one and at one eighteen. I te- he said, I said, what time are you going to be here? I said something about one. And then Matt said, one sounds good. Yeah. And then an at one eighteen, I texted Matt. I said, damn, one did sound good. Yeah. We had an emergency <laughs> band meeting I had to have real quick. Oh, emergency really? Who got fired? Uh oh. Drama. Not talking about it. Do you get fired? No. What? <laughs> it's Matt's band. <laughs> did I get fired? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Wait a minute. Did I? Am, am Wait, I? I'm pretty sure that fuck. Like you realize it right now. Like, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I did fire myself. You guys need How a bass player. Kick you out of bass what is yours? In every band in Charlotte. So, well, we don't we don't talk about it off, on air, but we can talk about it off air, I guess. We sure can. <laughs> <laughs> this is a riveting podcast right here. Yeah, no. this is good stuff. Tell, talking to Matt about what he's not. Oh gonna no, talk but that's about. why I was late. I was just using it as an excuse. <laughs> and it started raining really hard and stuff. It did start raining really hard. So traffic, everybody slows down. Nobody knows what rain is. Like they're just like, oh my god, what is this? Yeah, like, considering it rains like a hundred days yeah, out of the year. They never speed here. up. Yeah, <laughs> they never speed up like you're supposed so to. So annoying. <laughs> here comes the rain. I hit the gas. Yeah, here everybody's brake lights. Yep, that's how you do it. <laughs> like, what is going on? <laughs> so we released our second single, "She's Reckless," on Friday. Yeah, which is when we played the gig. Yeah, so we played it at the gig, <laughs> listening to uh to Goliath announce when he announced when we played "Peace of Mind," our first original. The way he announced it was hilarious. And then he kind of rectified it at the end, but like literally like everything stops and he, he looks down at the set list, sees what's next and goes, okay. Uh, so 
this is uh it's, you're just you're just <laughs> yeah, like what yeah. he's like how, how did he start it he, he didn't say this is an original he didn't say anything he just said uh this is on all streaming services and that's the first thing he says and you're like what and yeah, then he's, he's like you know you, you can get it anywhere and then the track started and we started playing and then as it came in he was like this is an original called peace of mind and i was like okay good you brought it home that was yeah. perfect <laughs> <laughs> like the way you started it like if you didn't say that last part it would have been idiotic like yeah. but he brought right. it he brought it home in a good way <laughs> Yeah. But he literally, it's just dead silent. He just goes, so this is in uh, all streaming services. And every, I could just feel everyone go, what? Like, hey, so my, my question to you, uh, and I don't think you said it, um, is what video, what did you guys choose to video? Or is it all one big video that they cut up and put together? How did they make this promo video? Or did you guys choose not to do the promo video? Yeah, for this, we chose yeah, we not took, to do we it. No yeah, promo. Okay. We took the but you have, you have the option to basically. Yeah, I heard that. I heard that. Yeah, I didn't whatever what you chose. want. Whatever you want. Like you tell them like specific songs you think. Yeah. Or, Okay. I think I yeah, think you by got default, the I think they filmed the whole thing. Yeah, right. I was talking to the guys. He's okay. like, "Yeah, you just you know, you tell us what parts like that you want." You know, and I was like, "Well, for Guns N' Roses, it's basically just choruses, choruses, and like one a little couple, yeah, a couple guitar, little guitar lick, solos, you know? and then you know, obviously, my entire drum solo has to be the whole right. intro, right." Four minutes. The video is four minutes, and the last thirty seconds is like the actual songs. Yep. Yeah, the first three and a half are the drums, and yeah. then there's a hidden track where I'm just playing the intro to me. Rocket Queen. But then that's it. and then <laughs> and then <laughs> and then it ends with a rig rundown. Where yeah. I just kinda, yeah, I just kind of talk about my symbols and what sticks, <laughs> warm, warm up techniques. Then it cuts to my rig rundown, and it's like here's rig, the bass. rig rundown of the tribute band drummer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so over here we have <laughs> no one cares, dude. Like, this is where I put my water bottles. <laughs> <laughs> this is Rasan. He's our tech. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Uh, so these are K symbols. They have the letter K on them. <laughs> we tried to get J symbols, K. but they didn't have them. They didn't have them. We're so really we like got these Ks K, but... and we got these A high hats. K is as high as I don't as know where went. the hats are and I don't know how high they go, but they got the letter A on them. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> they are high hats. This is Zel uh, 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 this, this is, is a symbol. <laughs> this is a symbol. <laughs> This is a ze as, uh, Zeppelin symbol. This is an A. You just I don't know what it's a, a different thing. I don't know what it's a symbol for, but like it goes ping, <laughs> ping, and that's five minutes with of nylon video tips. right there. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so that's how the video goes, pretty much. Yep. Rick just rundown. that right there. Well, I think that was the video. We just played it, so we're back now. Okay. And well, that's kind of that a sneak cool. preview. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. We paid fifteen hundred dollars for that. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. But the videos looked so good, and I was really far away. But yeah. I, as I could see it, I, I looked like, you know, when you're sc scrolling through channels on DirecTV or whatever, and you have like 18,000 channels, you get a channel like yeah. 17,000 and it's like a bad company concert. Yeah. That's or, what it looked like. It yeah. looked like, holy shit, this looks like a VH1, like rock like, block like concert Celine or something, Dion's you know? 30th anniversary for... That's um, exactly what we look like. Celine yeah, Dion's Celine 30th Dion. anniversary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why did you pick that? I don't know. <laughs> She's on my mind for some reason. She's always on oh, my mind. It's like, dude, isn't she like 75? No. I like she? to think of her when she's 30. Yeah, I, I like the baby pushing, Jesus better. Pushing the mid 50s. I like the baby so, Celine better. <laughs> well, maybe not baby. What? Well, I think she you went too hard. You went too hard the other way. My baby is what I meant. <laughs> oh, baby Celine is what I'm talking about. Oh, baby. What if she's a big listener of this podcast? Great. What if baby. she was? Hey, Celine. Hit me up, Celine. Celine. Um, Don't hi, her first of all, no, sorry, Miss I'm the Dion. I, I know we're not guess. we're not on uh, first name basis, to him. Yes, but but we're gonna work on that. We're gonna work on that. Celine, Don't thank you for your guy. listenership, Matt. <laughs> thank you for your Matt. listenership, Celine Dion, <laughs> <laughs> and friends. You don't have better things to do. Yeah, Doesn't you know. uh, Joel play with Celine Dion? Who does he play with? Share. He, yeah, he's share. He's share on, play. Joel Austin. They're the same person. I thought they are no. kind of similar, but they are share Dion. Oh, I'd go see that concert. I, w I would not. Me and Rasan aren't going to share Dion. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was real was no real Rock, paper, slapper. scissors. There Come was... on, let's keep it civil. <laughs> there was no symbol or anything to hit. Uh, Matt, what you got? Well, that was interesting. Interesting little pivot. Matt, what yeah, do I got? That was an uh... interesting segue. <laughs> Matt has a beard. I want to hear more about your show, yeah, though. Beard. You didn't really give us the full the full deets there, but um, definitely cut him off too. So it was it was fun. It was late night, man. It was a long ass night. And so you didn't uh, go on till eleven thirty. Yeah, we didn't go on till eleven thirty. So we were done at like uh, probably twelve thirty. Yeah, I guess that's what it was. Twelve thirty, and then mm -hmm. it was good. It was pretty eventless as far as like no problems or anything. So that's good. I mean, that's good. Yeah, you don't want you, you guys shit. always knock the power out. Yeah, something <laughs> happens. <laughs> it's it's like there's stuff. always some kind of malfunction, but yeah. especially at the milestone because the power is so dirty over there. We, it, well, do you we, notice that? Well, every time, so when I played in, a, I played in an old band, um, 
I played an old scratch for like two years. Right. I thought it was called and Thrift Shop. Thrift Shop? No, shut up. <laughs> uh, um, and our singer used to use a Super 55 as yep. a mic. And I did we stopped too. doing that because he kept on getting shocked every time we played the most. Really? <laughs> yeah. I brought my Super 55 and I used it and I did not get shocked. They probably do. Uh, Who knows? Who knows? Is that what you're always, you always singing too loud? No, actually, I chose to do it at the last minute. It's actually my friend's microphone. It's Dan's microphone. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, fuck, I'm going to bring this. He didn't care, you know? Yeah. And the uh, Super Super 55 is like one of those old school like, yeah. Yeah, metal case. That's the metal, the metal like, casing, like the let's get ready to rumble guy, he's... Right, I think it was right. like the Elvis mic, you know? Yeah. Elvis, didn't he use Elvis. Elvis. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. I, my mind went to boxing. Retro Trying to bring style. everybody into this. It's inclusive here. Okay, no. It's Elvis inclusive. Elvis appealed yeah. to black people, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's what you're talking yeah. about? I wasn't alive. <laughs> <laughs> let's get Listen ready to, to rumble. For all black people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let that one go. That was good. I can't... <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure he did, though. Like, I, I mean, or maybe not. I don't know. It was kind of the other way around, but yeah, no, for sure. But it's fine. But <laughs> that's it's fine. for sure. A side, a slight sidebar, because I just got reminded of this. Like, there's this poster in the playroom where uh, we all used to rehearse. It has like a family tree. <laughs> Foz is getting real cozy. He's getting real cozy. He's gone completely sideways. You need a snuggle buddy or something? So tired. Daryl, get I'll over there. <laughs> Daryl, tag anyway. in. Hey, I know I'm new, but uh, that's but anyway, cost, what killed me about this money. poster all the time? It's like a history of rock and roll, but like sh- as shaped as a as a tree. And Chuck Berry's like in in the rock, early rock section of it, Chuck Berry's name is on there, but then mm-hmm. Elvis is the first face that you see. On really? Yes. That's funny. Uh, it's a little sad. Like I don't know. Maybe they did it for like I don't know size constraints or something. I don't know. Yeah, size constraints. Yep. <laughs> size constraints. Keeping keeping the man down. I don't know. You keep it. Keep it. Keep them. Keep them separate. <laughs> but equal. I didn't say That's separate so but equal. But <laughs> uh. Anyway, Matt's show. Yeah. Well, we we'll we, keep going back to that, but we've pretty much covered it all. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, well, Foz and I went to run, help you run sound for that poor taproom gig, and the power went out twice. We talked about that yeah, on the show. Yeah, the like, taco truck. <laughs> and then the, the gig before that, I went and helped him run sound out. They blew out the bass amp, and like, just, they're always yeah, oh, problems. Yeah. <laughs> we've had a lot of issues, so. But last night was very event, uh, eventless as far as that goes. The event was great. That's good. No, we didn't have an event. There wasn't an event. Yeah, it was very eventless. We showed up, and we left. And <laughs> we left. No, was, it, was uh, it was a party, man. Yeah, pretty good it turnout. It was fun. Yeah, it was a good turnout. Actually, best turnout we've probably had yet. So. How much does the milestone hold? Uh, that's a good question. I do it's not like, know. Uh, Couple 150. Uh, I, I used to have it in my head because there's a sign by the bar that says exactly. I think it's like 167. Really? Like specifically, it's a weird number. How like many that. gallons is that, though? There is uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's at least. If we for, liquefy our audience, how many liquefy? can we get in? Yeah. What's yeah. the, what's the, the problem? Bring jugs. <laughs> Barrel, just rolling in barrels. We'll pour them on the floor. Like, it's going to be a party, dude. It's going to be a party, what, dude. What was your question? It's pretty metal. <laughs> I was just asking what the conversion. Blood fest. Uh, how do you convert uh, humans to gallons? Be. Probably Blood. something in, in liters, and then you got to do math for gallons. Isn't like Girl. King Henry says, died drinking chocolate milk or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> you need a nap. What is that? That does sound really familiar. King, it's, no, it's, it's like kilos, right? Yeah, it's it's like the all the um, different measurements of stuff. <laughs> that's how that's how you convert things from like like de- different decimal places. Oh, okay. Oh, and I, like you said that, and it brought back memories, like from like. Fifth grade. It's like like deciliters, regular liters. I measure the other, the other things. Regular liters. Things regular liters. The other, they also, the also known as liters. liters. Yeah. And I only deal in hectares. Yep. Dallas, is a, what is a hectare? Hectares? Isn't that like a like a land thing? <laughs> yeah, Isn't yeah, it like that's, like that's, acres that's like, kind of? That's uh, like hectares. a lot of hectares. A guy I know. Wooden uh, ship. <laughs> I thought it was like a bunch of uh, acres. Hec- uh, hectare is a day laborer that lives yeah. uh, <laughs> up the road. Hector, Hector works my at the boy. Hector works at the gas station. <laughs> Hooks me up with Red Bull. <laughs> Hooks you up with Red Bull. That's Hector. Yeah. What does uh, Red Bull have to say about that? Red Bull. What do they have to say about them? This we don't is not talk an about ad. Them. Are we going to talk about Bam Margera? <laughs> oh, we can. <laughs> we can. I mean, I guess CKY was cool. He's he's having a meltdown. I always thought it was Sky. S- what? It's spelled C K Y. Yeah, but like City. <laughs> It's CKY. <laughs> what does CKY stand for? I had nothing. Damn, kill I, yourself. 
That's it. Can't kill That's yourself. It. I knew it, it was something. Nope. I couldn't remember what it was. Yep. It had, they had to shorten it to be family friendly. Did y'all ever see that okay. mustard music video? Mustard Man? Uh, maybe. Oh, gosh. Maybe. All right, that's one to check out. Monster Probably not. Man. The way you said that does not make me want to see that. <laughs> yeah, oh, you got to see him on it. No, that was Zero's excited voice. Yeah. Do, I, I, do like it again. Jumping. Have y'all? <laughs> yeah, go check out Mustard. <laughs> go, go check out Mustard. CKY. That really tanked. <laughs> that's what I do. Yeah, so I think this little sound clip right here will explain. You need to get some help. No shit, Sherlock. Why do you think I'm fucking doing this? I need Dr. Phil. <laughs> so if Dr. I Phil. read any reply that says, Boom, you need help. No shit. What is he even referring to? Mental health. He's, he he's he like posts he's these like it. weird rants on Facebook or on Instagram and what he what he does he doesn't like like basically he writes a rant on a piece of paper and then takes a picture of it and posts it. And it's like sloppy like first grader handwriting and it's like it's just shit that I don't even understand because I've never followed him, but it's like, you know, I don't know, whatever. So who are some of his like friends? Those people that everybody oh, knows yeah, like, uh, from the show. Steve-o or whatever. And, yeah. So it'd be like, for example, John Steve-o never fucked my wife. Steve, I fucked like ever. it's just like all this shit. That you're just like, dude, don't say any of that. <laughs> like somebody should have caught that and been like, hey, don't post that, dude. Like, all these black posts here. Jerry, those are him maybe? ranting. Yeah. All these posts that are like, a yeah, black there's just tile. tons of posts on Instagram and to the point the that every comment is like, dude, you need to get help. Like, is, he, is he married? <laughs> uh, he's split up. I think and there's some, I don't know. Mm. He'd have to be a I know he was in rehab no, and he posted married. some post about like, I miss my wife or something. Okay. Or my know. wife has a kid and, and I deserve the kid. It was just like all this shit. That's like, it's just all the stuff we talk about on Facebook. Didn't uh, Don Vito die? <laughs> Don Vito died. Didn't he? Hey, well, there was a, there was a, how ho- hoax about it and then i think it really happened later so yeah i think Wait, so really it's darkly f- humorous yeah. it is very weird huh it is weird i mean he died he, just he kidding was, oh wait <laughs> <laughs> he was pretty unhealthy and <laughs> notorious for that I mean, she's reckless <laughs> she was pretty reckless <laughs> is yeah. out on all streaming platforms <laughs> she was now. pretty reckless and oh, it's our new song and it's really awesome Thank you. We're trying to that do. Was, uh, thank awesome. you for that riveting pitch. <laughs> that was that was a good plug. I just want to remind everybody listening. I was standing up out of my seat. No, no, you is were. that what they say? I was. What is the phrase? I was erect. I was. <laughs> I think it's get wrecked. Don't think you that's should it. pitch it in a California surfer dude kind of. You know, <laughs> you, you have the California surfer dude, <laughs> dude. So basically, what happened was this band from. Um, I love it's band. Near where I'm from. Uh, the, oh yeah, the LA maybe is like. <laughs> So basically, they've got a new song out, bro. <laughs> you got to check it out. We got so pitted. It's tubular. So What's pitted. What's it called, man? You remember that? Uh, that guy dude, dude, she's reckless, like, How man. did you win this surf? How did you win the surf contest? Well, basically, the wave came over, and I got pitted. Oh, so pitted. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> so, so pitted on the news. So, he kept saying it over and over. The lady's like, okay. <laughs> so basically, she's reckless is pitted. Pitted. That's amazing. So pitted. So pitted. So pitted, dude. <laughs> But we are very excited about that. Um, yeah. We've gotten some positive feedback on that. We've gotten some positive feedback on, or continue to get positive feedback on Peace of Mind. Yeah. We get positive feedback when we play uh, the other originals that nobody knows yet except us. Yeah. And Matt, and nobody other people. knows. What are the titles? Are we, are Sweet we, are we and Mistress. So the, the four, I like how I answered you like you were genuinely asking. But to announce it, the... Um, no, well, I songs. never know our yeah. own songs. Oh, okay, cool. You know, the one that goes... Da, 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 da. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Thought my sound was off. <laughs> <laughs> Professionally quality yeah. uh, production here. This is good stuff. This so, is... um, yeah, I mean, this is kind of more chill episode, obviously. Obviously. Uh, but yeah, the the EP is gonna have four songs, and then we're gonna we're doing more stuff too. Yeah, we're already working on the no next. No way, you're not gonna call it quits after four. Well, we thought about you know it. What I, I thought, thought like, about when it. I first got in a band. I was like, I'm gonna write like four song. Call it done. Just yeah. close up shop. Next we're, band. <laughs> what is next on the agenda, though? Seriously, on a serious note, um, well, we, we have, booked uh, some studio ahead, yeah. time mm-hmm. um, with uh, are we cool to say Taylor Larson? Yep. Uh, he is a really good engineer. Um, Luke I was Holland. actually, yeah, Luke Holland. Um, will be there. He's a, he, he will be our new drummer. Yeah. Sorry. He, Sorry, Foss. Um, well, no, he'll tune him. This is how you guys yeah. are. Foss he's now. our new tech. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Luke Holland's our new tech. <laughs> he's our new drum tech. He's shout out, drum shout out to Luke. So Thank good. you very much for helping out. What everything. if we could actually lock it. that down though? 
That would be, uh, be too expensive. I'm sure he knows what he's doing, but I'm also very sure that he has people come in that he probably take care of everything. Yeah, he you probably know, gets Like help. Matt Brown and stuff. Um, but yeah, Taylor does. He did Periphery 1 and 2, I he's believe. Done he's done Tooth Ask Grinders, Alexandria. both albums. Ask Alexandria. He does all Luke Holland um, stuff. Or a lot of it. He, he does, does Jason, Jason Richardson, Richardson stuff. He's like uh, he's got Maya. Um, some of Born of Osiris, a lot of the verb, the noun bands he's <laughs> <laughs> responsible <laughs> for, he as well as the pluralized noun bands. But, you know, we're entrusting him with, with our drum tracking and our, uh, mixes. Yeah. So we're, uh, we're tracking everything except drums by ourselves <laughs> down here. And then we're, uh, flying up to DC where he, well, Bethesda technically Maryland. And, uh, um, so glamorous, right? We're doing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we're going to fly to studio. Up to, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> So we're going to the studio no uh November seventh, the round then sometime, early November. November seventh, eighth, ninth, and ninth, I yeah. think. So it's a weekend thing. So yeah. if you're stalking them, you know where to find yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. And uh what what we're doing is we're tracking drums, we're doing two songs. We're doing the the next single after the EP and then the next single after that single. So once we get those two done, um we're going to track the drums up there and then leave them with him to mix. And then we got that in the bag. You're going to leave him the drums yeah. too. That gets us into, uh, we're going to take his drums actually. Bad joke. Bad yep. joke. That's it. So I guess like the next plan after that is probably just to finish a few more songs, cut another EP and then just keep on going. We got actually asked yeah. by this guy that runs a small label. Um, Denmark. Denmark in Denmark, right? Denmark. Um, Dallas, I think you handled that conversation. He he was yeah. asking us about our, our plans because he randomly found us. So as... it started like this. He found us on Facebook and he messaged us saying, hey, I'm so-and-so with so-and-so label out of Denmark. We love your sound and want to talk about uh, producing your next full length or next album or something like that. At least distribution. And, and I always take those things with a grain of salt, but I'm always willing to have the conversation. So I, I told him like, hey, let's talk privately. So we brought it over to personal messenger. And I, and I said, yeah, so what's up? Tell me what's up. And he said, when are you guys uh, planning on dropping a full length? And I said, we're not. <laughs> we're not going to be doing a full length, uh, maybe ever. And he was like, and he sent me this really long message about how um, full lengths always sell better than EPs and full lengths are the only way to make money and all this stuff. And I was just like, all right, dude, well. And he was like, so let me know if you change your mind because we only work with bands that do full lengths. And I was like, we'll do. <laughs> like, yeah. we're not, probably not needing that but it's an interesting yeah. thing to lay his to plant his flag on though like the yeah that's what i was thinking right full, like isn't that a that, weird way to matter? be like this is what i believe Why really does that strongly matter? yeah where i'd like to hear his argument on that like, yeah he well he's really probably thinking message. historically like but the music industry changes so often so dramatically that like yeah. what worked 10 years ago is not what's currently working i can it will not work probably yeah. next week speaking for yeah. myself when a full length comes out even from some of my favorite bands i do not often get past song like three right you know it, like, take, it takes me a bit like I'll, I'll put on a full album only if I'm driving a long way. Yeah. Which, same. which happens to be a good bit. So I do get like caught up on music pretty quickly, but like everything just comes out so often. Yeah. So it's so hard to keep up with like Everything's, multiple yeah. songs from multiple bands and you're getting like plastered with stuff every Friday. Like new yeah. stuff comes out. That, literally plus every I Friday. listen to podcasts more than music now. So yeah. like, well, that I don't even with, like with being around music way too much anyway. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't listen to a ton of music. One thing I hate about like some, a lot of full length albums though, is it feels like so much stuff is filler. So it's yeah, kind of exactly. hard to find like albums that you can, you know, like I used to do with my dad when I was young, we'd put on a classic album and listen it, to it from the All beginning the through, yeah. and, and on the couch and everything was like amazing and it worked together perfectly. Hey, but nowadays just, it's like, oh, that was awesome. Oh, this is garbage. Like why the yeah. hell did you put this on yeah. this? Yeah. yeah, I think even even some of the greatest albums of all time, like Appetite for Destruction, have has at least one song that I would call filler. Think about yeah. you. Do you agree with that, Matt? Nope. You like Think my about you. Favorite song on their album. You fucking lying. I like that song. I do. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not my favorite. favorite. <laughs> not my favorite. I'm joking, <laughs> joking about the favorite thing, but I do like song. it. Exactly. I mean, I do never never nobody that knows that. I, I do think there's a place that. for a contrast. I had that album in full albums. See, but you do you want to contrast room? between good yeah. songs and bad songs? That's not. I don't think you know I mean? use bad song. That's subjective. <clears throat> I think it's a slower song. And if you don't like slower songs and you think it's a bad song, you're talking about thinking about you. Yeah, specifically, it's, it's kind of. I wouldn't slower. say that's a slow it's, song. It's like a more ballady type thing. It's a de- ballady feel for sure. You. That one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's a quick. It's a quick beat it's and everything. Kind of but I just like. feel like it's it's a more uh, 
like lover kind of like lovey dovey song in a little yeah, way. Yeah, but it's on the same record. I think, as, it's, as, I think you're talking about uh, content though, because to me it doesn't come it doesn't come across as a ballad at all. Well, why do, why do you feel it's the weaker song? That's what I'm confused about. I guess is where I'm trying to. I never really liked it, and also you never really Guns N' Roses it? fans don't even know it exists. Foz didn't even had never heard it. Like it's the it's the one song on the album that most people just kind of skip over. I guess I've never just never caught that my myself, but that's just everybody's different, obviously. You know, like yeah. Whatever you prefer in music, like if you feel like that. Didn't yeah, yeah, the, for sure. There's preferences, of course. But, for but me, I like contrast. There's also like preferences a, of the masses, which kind of dictate overall, of that's like well, you know, charts that's and stuff popularity. like that. I totally understand. And that one is definitely the bottom of the bottom of the bottom okay. for their yeah, songs. Yeah, I never, you know I never I mean? realized that. But I, I always thought that record was great front to back, and I, and I think a lot of older records are great front to back because they knew going into they're going to make 10 to 12 songs you know yeah you had limited space too because Nowadays. you were you were creating for the medium and and that goes goes into That's what true, yeah. what the medium is today like the medium you had 40 minutes max before you had to spend more money to just even throw one more disc into into exactly. the mix then CDs gave you 80 minutes so albums did get longer but now we're on a, in a platform where like there's no single time, song listening. There's no time artists. constraint. Yeah, there's yeah. no time constraint, so it's so overblown that it's kind of like sucked it, sucked itself back in. Yeah, exactly. So people want the brevity. Singles. People want the brevity. They want the the right. the instant gratification they, of a song. They want the brevity, but they want it more often. That's yep. the thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. And if you're a new band and you come out with a full length album and then disappear for two years. Playing yeah. shows, air yeah, quotes, yeah, yeah, or whatever yeah, yeah, you're yeah. doing, like you're gone. Nobody cares. Like you have to keep Not putting out. Like, like I said, that would be very uh, dependent on what, like, what they were doing. If you're gone for two years and you're like touring the world and playing these big opportunities, it if could that's be your huge. first album. You're not doing that, probably. You know, that's hard to say. I mean, you never well, know. Unless man. you got major label back. That's right. Well, whatever, whatever it like, is. If you took two years, there's to somebody get to that paying point, your way. If yeah, you got, to if you took that. you two years to get to that point, though, you know what I mean, or whatever you're playing, 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 then two years you get finally get this opportunity and you're in the main light. And then you put out another album. It's not like you're gone. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's kind of, it's just, it just depends. There's, there's also a lot of creative ways to stay in the public eye too. Like you can. But think about bands like Tool and bands like GNR when they were doing Chinese Democracy. Like you can easily, no matter how big you are. You hear about Tool, by the, the way? Yeah. Did oh, you yeah. hear about them? Oh yeah. Yeah. That's ridiculous, man. That's probably that. yeah. struck gold right now. All their albums are top 10 right now. On oh, iTunes? well, that's just because they just released them all. I know, stream, but if yeah. you think about the money that they're going to get right now, I mean, they're like uh, the number yeah, one maybe, streaming yeah. platform, number, you know, like, or not platform. Yeah, that's smart, which I is weird because they probably were so anti streaming because they're just old school and they were literally leaving millions that's of dollars I'm, on the table. Exactly. So they probably could <laughs> have like, made more dude, in the long on. run. I don't think they saved money or made more money by doing, by waiting. You know what I mean? Yeah. Thanks, I don't think, I think Adam. they definitely lost money, but it's just interesting that they threw yeah. this away for so long. You're definitely going to see that spike. Like when Michael Jackson died, all of his exactly. albums charted. Exactly. When Prince died, same thing, or some of well, them. Well, it's know? not because what they died, you? though. It's not because of a death. So it's. What are we different. talking about? Something about Tool? Tool, uh, just Friday when She's Reckless came out. They um, yeah. put all their all their music on streaming services. They previously never had it available on any yeah. of them. I know uh, the first thing I did was actually listen to 10,000 Days. That's what we did. Done. Yeah, on the drive down. We yeah. started listening to I, it. That was the second time I heard it Nine. That, <laughs> that day. <laughs> yeah, I did the same yeah. thing. Favorite tool record? 10,000 Days for sure. 10,000 Days? I hope the new one really uh, stacks up. I, I'm so scared it's going to suck. Mine's the one with, the, so with the live afraid. stuff on it. What's that one? Live stuff? With, with uh, the live on the opiate? back? Opiate? Yeah, that's the one he Opiate's says. Uh, got some it, some it, live it, tracks it, on it from uh, oh. something. I don't remember. Uh, I like I like the one he says. Somebody throw that Bob Marley wannabe motherfucker out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I love that's how that's you open amazing. a song right there. Yeah. That's amazing. And it, and rumor has it it was um it was from Rage uh, Zach De La Rocha. Oh, it was Zach De La Rocha. That's, yeah. what, he, that's what they say. I remember that it was story. him in the crowd and their friend. So he's yeah. joking. Yeah. Somebody throw that Bob Marley wannabe motherfucker. That's so funny. That is really funny. He does kind of look like him. Yeah, also, Lenny Kravitz. There's a sh- there's a photo actually out there of of uh, Tool playing one of their fr- I think like the second show they ever played back in like '92. It must have been. And Tom Morello and Zach are, are actually in the audience, and there's like ten people max yeah. there. It's in this tiny, tiny room, and then like the very next year, both bands are like headlining these huge tours, huge festivals, and everything. It's just insane. That's crazy how random success was back then. Yeah, wildly <laughs> like, random. It, it was just so. Because they both played music that's not that easy on the ears, but it was just like the right time, right place for it. Like L.A. and being as rebellious in their sound as they were. I mean, they yeah, both had people got too used it. to. What year was it? Ninety two. It was ninety two. So like Opiate came out in, and somebody's probably going to correct. So that me was kind of ninety two, kind of with the grunge era. Um, almost. Yeah, and and Undertow too still has kind of a grunge edge to it. Um, 
but Rage Against the Machine self-titled does not like at all. It's just yeah, up, no, like, yeah. It basically stoner rock, almost like almost. rap rock. You know, like it well, it was it was rap rock because of the vocals. But mm-hmm. you take away the vocals, it's straight up stoner. I rock. love like the groove of that band. Yeah, like they just have monster riffs and monster groove. They they grooved hard for sure. But uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm worried. I don't know. I put certain things on a pedestal and I probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah. But I think if you worry about it, then you're almost always going to be, going disappointed. To be disappointed. I know if you just kind of let it happen and enjoy it, you'll probably love it. That's how I am with movies. Like yeah. I pretty much like just about every movie I see, which I'm not, I don't baffles me. I don't go in there like hypercritical. <laughs> I stopped liking movies at some point. I don't know what happened to me, but I can't go and enjoy a movie anymore. Really? I just, I don't know why. It's because you're 30 years old now. That's what it is. I think <laughs> that the, the imagination of the magic is gone. I don't yeah, believe in Santa anymore. It's like probably what it is. Noises. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everything sucks and sounds like farts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good cough. Coughing off mic. I need a cough button. One of those mute mm-hmm. buttons they have on radio. One of those like push to talk or push to mute. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Oh, so, dude, first yawn. I mean, this far. Join the go. Patreon uh, and throw this guy five bucks a month so that we can get him a get him a, 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 a cough button. Cough button. Perfect. Yeah, join the Patreon. <laughs> I'm plugging it. For we you. need it's a funny. cough button. Well, no. we have our own website for the band, lamaybe.com. Yeah, buy some merch, please. And yes, uh, please. yeah, there's we there's, have bracelets. Those bracelets have, are pretty dope, right? Um, do we have condoms yet? Not that I know of. Well, then we better we get on that. Mints. I don't encourage people to Catch use those up, anyway. Uh, <laughs> She's reckless condoms. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hand this to the right girl, and she'll take it either as a compliment yeah. or a, uh, or she'll or throw a, it directly in the trash, <laughs> or a little bit of a of a slight. Yeah. Oh, That's I get. Funny. Oh, baby, I get all my condoms from the LA Maybe's merch. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and just where I order them in bulk. Yeah. We just start getting orders for three hundred. It's like, oh, yeah. guys, we haven't sold any shirts lately, but we did sell 10,000 condoms. But <laughs> just be careful. Those shoes reckless things are flying off the shelf. So I honestly think we should stop playing music and start more producing hands. condoms full time. I chase the band's name to Trojan. <laughs> They're called... Uh, so, Trojan, if you're listening, um, <laughs> <laughs> we'd like to really... CEO of Trojan's a big listener, by the way. Him, Celine Dion, and whoever else the other person was we saw. Oh, cool. Little known facts. Hopefully your mom. Don't... That was it. Your mom. My mom. Those oh. three people. Yeah. Hey, mom. <laughs> Mrs. Rasan. Mrs. Rasan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's up, Mrs. Rasan? She's a she's a proud mother right now. That's funny. Listening to me plugging Trojan. One thing we should plug is uh, we'll be playing Amos's at the end of this month. Yep. August three zero. Yep. Nice. This is gonna be my first time on stage. Is is it your first time too? Is it all of our yep. first time? It'll, It'll be my, first, my time. first time really? since they've re- redone it and like right. added that restaurant and stuff. Oh, there's a restaurant. Oh, cut dude. it in half. Yeah, back in the day, like, I mean, it was a decent size venue. Yeah. By the way, Drew Cyphers, who uh, recorded our drums the first time, is their monitor engineer. So he'll, I'm oh, sure, wow. he'll be there running ears for us. Cool. Nice. Or not ears, however the case may be. Have well, you been uh, in touch with him since we with, saw him at that for show? Originals. Do I think ears. I texted him. Oh, okay. Doing ears, doing originals. So. Uh, yeah. For what? Well, yeah, we're gonna be doing. Amos's. For that show covers, but also originals. It's going to be Daryl's second show. Yes, well, technically second. third if you don't, if you don't count Fourth of July. Well, yeah, but now you're doing that two day with us, too. Remember that on the twenty fourth? Yeah, on the twenty fourth. Yeah. So yeah. that'll be like the third. And you guys, Amosis will be number three. Do yeah. we have a lot of weekends coming up with double with double up days? So the yeah. Amosis, you guys are opening for DiCarlo, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. I'm sure you said we that. We are. Yep. And it's yeah. going to be a fun time. It's going to be fun. We're trying My to figure out how to there. put together some sort of like group thing where like everybody does something, but I'll play, I haven't figured that uh, out yet. I'll play bass for both bands. Perfect. They have a bass player. Yeah, I know. I had they someone lined up though. <laughs> he's white, so he's not as good. <laughs> yeah. We'll see how that goes on with the GNR tribute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone will care. Uh, I'll just wear If they flower. do, they're racist. <laughs> just wear like, let's make like a duff mask. Like a that really so high quality, no, you but like you still 3D have app. like black arms and like oh, <laughs> like totally you should, normal. Like you should purposely you just like yes, yeah. like on that fucking just like all in white, just like R and B artists, like clearly <laughs> yeah. not at all. Just, like, okay, that's cool. They got a basically, yeah. basically be uh, what's like the, an Isley brother, Rand, <laughs> yeah. Randy, Randy Jackson, Randy Jackson, yeah. Randy Jackson yeah. journey. Dude. Make it make it look like Guns Randy Jackson had to hire Randy Jackson for the night because stuff was sick or something. 
He was in Journey, yeah. I for didn't the, know that. For the Raisin on Radio Tour, and he looked like a complete tool in and all the pictures. Pink, uh, he played, oh, so he a played a pink bass, uh, yeah. of course. Huh? He played for Tool 2? He played too? for Tool 2. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wait, Man's that's what Randy him. plays. He's like, a talented dude. I was wondering why he, how he got on the American Idol. Yep. They don't just let anybody on there, you no, know? No, it's because he played in Tool. Played Tool, yeah. and he played for uh, <laughs> and Paula Journey. Abdul. And Paul Abdul. And Paul Abdul. Little known fact. Who is also the same as Cher. Yeah. Paula Abdul Cher Dion. Dion. It's pronounced Dion. <laughs> Dion. A lot of people Dion. don't know that. It's pronounced Dion. Dion. You just dropped a bunch of It sounds like a mustard. Celine Dion. Celine Dion. She'll be here at the show. <laughs> She'll be at the the, the, the Is Carlo. that the tribute, Celine Dion? That would be really good. <laughs> it's another tribute. So Out of show. Everybody wears really yellow. All the choruses are mustard themed. I love coming up with uh, funny tribute names. It's one of my favorite things. Well, yep. Get this man a hobby. No, that's that's that is my hobby. What are you, are you listening to what it's I said? It's a wasted energy for sure. Yeah. It, it will, yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably creative outlet. That's a joke. <laughs> so, how much are tickets? Do you uh, to the DiCarlo show? Yeah, tickets are, are ten dollars advance, twelve day of show. Yep, nice. that's pretty cheap. Is it all ages awesome or, or eighteen plus? Like, like that was ages, a, yeah. the it's second all, question was a, legit. It's an all ages point. show with a five dollar surcharge for everyone under twenty one. I like that. I like that radio voice. Thanks. <laughs> Except for your cupping your mic, so you completely screwed it up. Well, that's to make me sound more <laughs> hardcore, Daryl. That's the hardcore kid. Obviously, you've never, never listened to Lamb of God. You just want to come off like a pussy. <laughs> Cup your mic if you're not a pussy. Yeah. Ooh. Everybody, you need distortion. Matt's dropping the gauntlet. That's right. All right. Closing thoughts. Final words. Oh, we're finishing it up here. I never want to be on this show again. She's reckless. We don't want you back on either side. We've been streaming platforms, including <laughs> YouTube and go get it. Spotify, other platforms. Spotify, iTunes, probably Deezer <laughs> and probably. Apple Apple Music. They're phasing out iTunes, aren't they? I am act. Yeah, yeah. I think. Well, it's isn't it becoming like separate. Things. It's even on Google Play Music. They've been separate things. I think they're like cl- literally closing down iTunes soon. Yeah, you can't buy downloadable songs anymore. Aww. What? Yeah. They want you to stream them. Oh. Stream them. Except for on like CD when you, Baby. When you, you buy those download dollar songs, songs. Yeah, so you, you still be able to You get Apple specific MP3 code coding. But, <sighs> so you can't play it on anything except like iTunes. Gross. It's terrible. What's happening? Thank you, Apple. Yeah. Anyway, what on that thought? note, the robots are taking over. <laughs> yep. <laughs> New world order. The robots are taking over. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Matt and I will be back next week um, without these other bozos. So it'll probably be an actually good show. Well, thank you guys so much for coming back. And any final words? Uh, uh, thank you for thank having you. us, cool. bandmate, awesome. that I'll awesome. see uh, awesome. more in like five minutes. All right. Cool. She's reckless cool. out now. She's reckless. Yeah. Matt, yep. closing thoughts. Totally. Get your, she's reckless. These guys are awesome. <laughs> Matt. And those condoms, too. Thanks for listening, and see you next week on the Musician's Talk Show. Be sure to subscribe, rate, and review wherever you listen to podcasts.